Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m divided by 19 is equals to m and we solve this problem for all the values of m. So here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards the solution of this problem from first method. And in the first method you see here this 19 is divided by left hand side. Uh, so that we move this 19 to the right hand side. And it will be written as m is equal to 19 times of m. So here further in the next step we move uh, this 19m from right hand side to the left hand side. And it will be written as m minus 19 m and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here when we subtract both of these two values it will be written as m minus 19 m becomes here minus 18 m and this whole equation is equals to 0. And here our target is to get the values of m uh, so for this uh, we need to just uh, uh, divide both of the sides by minus 18. So that when we divide both of the sides by minus 18, it will be written as minus 18m divided by minus 18 and this is 0 divided by minus 18. So this minus 18 and this minus 18 are cancelled out by each other and we will get here m is equals to this is 0 divided by minus 18 we know that when we divide 0 with any other number it is always equals to 0 so we get the value of m is equals to 0 and if uh, we see the given question statement uh, in graphically then you see that uh, what is the solution of this problem so if you have this is the xy plane and this is the our origin uh, so you know about that uh, the graph of m over 19 will be looks like in this form okay this is very close to the x-axis this is the graph of uh, m divided by 19 okay this is our m divided by 19 and the graph of m is which is passing through again origin and which is lies on first and second quadrant so here uh, this is the graph of m this is the graph of m over 19 and now you see that both of these two graphs are intersect each other at the point origin at origin so at origin point both of these two graphs are intersect by each other so it means that m equals to 0 uh, so th this point be the solution of both of these two equations so this is m equals to 0 okay so m equals to 0 be the solution of uh, these two equations but now here uh, we verify that is this value of m is satisfied our given question statement or not okay so uh, for verification uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is m divided by 19 is equals to m this is our given question statement and here we substitute m equals to 0 on both of the sides and it will be written as 0 divided by 19 is equals to 0 and now you see here when we divide a 0 with any other number it is always equals to 0 so that here we get this is 0 equals to 0 so this means that both of the sides are equal as when we choose m equals to 0 so it means that m equals to 0 be the solution set of the given equation because it is satisfied over given question statement and now here in the next step uh, we need to again solve this problem for a second method so in second method uh, we need to uh, copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is m divided by 19 is equals to m so this is our given question statement and in the second method we use the LCM techniques to find the roots of this equation so for this we move m from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as m divided by 19 minus m is equals to 0. So here uh, in order to take the LCM of this term we need to uh, first make the denominator of both of these two terms are same. So in order to make the denominator of these terms are same 
Now we need to multiply this term and divide by this term is by 19. So it will be written as m divided by 19 minus 19m is divided by 19. And now here we easily take the LCM of this term and its LCM becomes here 19. So these are cancelled out by each other and we get here m minus 19m. So this implies that m minus 19m is equal to minus 18m divided by 19 and this whole equation is equal to 0. Okay. And now here our target is to get the values of m. So for this we move this 19 to the right hand side and it will become here minus 18m is equal to 0 times of 19. And it will be written as this will become here minus 18m equals to 0 times 19 becomes here 0. So for the values of m we divide both of the sides by minus 18. So when we divide by minus 18 it will be written as minus 18m divided by minus 18 and 0 divided by minus 18. This minus 18 and this minus 18 are cancelled out by each other and in the left hand side we get m and in the right hand side we get 0 divided by minus 18 and 0 by minus 18 becomes here 0. So this means that m equals to 0 be the only one root of the given equation which we get here in the first method. Also in the first method we verify that m equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement. So that the solution set of this question is m is equals to 0. So this is the, our final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.